So, this next song um, I wrote some years ago, and it's, uh, I stole the character that's speaking to you uh, in this song, just outright from a great book called The Killer Angels by Michael Shara, which is a, a novel about um, the greatest battle of the American Civil War, which was the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, greatest battle because it was one of the most monumental fuck-ups on both sides. One army didn't know where the other army was. They bumped into each other accidentally. And there were 55,000 casualties over three days, killed and wounded. Um, a lot of those wounded later died because, you know, amputees didn't survive then the way that they do now. Some of the first, you know, battlefield amputations took place in that war. Trench warfare was originated in that war. Uh, automatic weapons, the first weapons that could fire one shot after another and, and repeating arms happened during that war. A lot of advances in technology and the ways that we kill each other. And... Up until that summer of Gettysburg, it was fought by all volunteer armies, but we had to uh, institute the first draft in our history as a country because all the people dying in this war were Americans and we were running out of people. So Now, all of those volunteers, if you asked any of them um, why they were fighting, you'd get a different answer from almost everybody which is one of the things that the title of the, of the book comes from. There's a lot of real characters. Joshua Chamberlain, who was the commander of the 20th Maine, was, uh, he was a college professor, and he joined the Army and raised a regiment uh, because he believed he was fighting against the institution of slavery. Um, this person who's speaking to you in this song is a composite character based on three people who actually lived in two of the three, died fighting with the 20th Maine, and um, he is an NCO, he's a, he's a sergeant, he's one of the guys that um, everything Joshua Chamberlain, his colonel, knows about being a soldier, he learned from this character in, um, in the book. And that's probably the way that it was. I mean, when the Fenian Rebellions basically sort of wind down in the 1850s for the moment, and a lot of guys landed in the United States with one marketable skill and they joined the army. So a lot of the professional soldiers in, in that army um, came from Ireland. Um, now, this guy, if you, you asked him, and it's in the book, the title comes from a conversation he has with, with Colonel Chamberlain where he asks him what he's fighting for, and he believes he's fighting class war because he believes that the system he's fighting against in the southern United States is the same system that he fought against in Ireland. And it never ceases to amaze me. I love my job because the pinko shit that I can sneak in on a bluegrass record is like. <laughs> what can I say? It's like, uh... Fighting man, and I come from County Clare, and the bread's would hang me for a penny, and so I took my leave of there. And across the ocean in the Irie, and the vilest tub of float, and the captain's brother was a railroad man, and he met us at the boat. So I joined up with the 20th Maine, did I tell you, friend, I'm a fighting man. Marching south in the pouring rain, and we're all going down to Dixieland. I'm Korean on the 20th Main, and I fight for a chain behind. There's a stir right with us when the Johnny's king, like a banshee on the wind. When the smoke cleared out over Gettysburg, many a mother wept. Many a good boy died this year in air smell just like death. 
I am Kareem of the 20th Maine, and I'm marching to hell and back again. For Colonel Joshua Chamberlain, and we're all going down to Dixieland. Twentieth Maine and a damn old gentleman Whose only worth is a father's name and the swell of a working man We come from the farms in the city streets Hundred foreign lands Shed our blood in the battles heat Now we're all American I am Kareen of the twentieth Maine Did I tell you, friend, I'm a fighting man I'll be back this way again Cause we're all going down to Dexaland <laughs> 